Hey everyone, Mitchell Gould here, and in today's video, we're gonna go over how you can monitor LinkedIn ads performance using Google Analytics GA4. So let's dive into it. So the main thing that we wanna look at for today is after someone clicks an ad on LinkedIn and then they land on our website, we wanna see how long they're staying on the website and what their engagement looks like after clicking an ad and landing on the website. So I'm gonna pull up Google Analytics for this uh, client, and then we're gonna go into the acquisition tab, and then go into traffic acquisition, and then we can um, set the, the filtering to source and medium, and then we can search for LinkedIn CPC. So now we're looking at just the metrics for those that came in through paid LinkedIn ads. So we can see there's 162 users, 186 sessions, 28 engaged sessions, and the average engagement time per session was eight seconds. So on average, after someone clicked an ad and then they landed on the landing page, they're only staying on there for about eight seconds. And compared to some other channels, that's pretty low. Organic is a lot higher. Um, some other paid sources, sources like Google search is higher. So that's uh, something interesting we want to take note of. Some other things that you can look at are the conversions and filter on specific conversions. Um, but in this case, I just want to take a look at the average engagement time per session. And then what you can do here is also do a secondary dimension. So we're gonna to go to page and screen and then page path and screen class. So now we can see the average engagement time per session by the different pages for those that came in through LinkedIn paid ads. And we can see for those, um, for the home page, the average engagement time per session is around three seconds. Um, and then for some of the other pages, it does increase. And I see some services page that um, have a lot higher engagement per session, although the session number is pretty low there. So there's a few things that are interesting um, to me about this, and I'm gonna go into this other tab here to just go over some things you can check after you go in and to Google Analytics and see how long people are uh, engaging with your website after they click an ad, and then also comparing that to some of the other sources and mediums in Google Analytics. So the first thing that you wanna think about and check is, is your audience ta targeting correct? Are you targeting the right people and is the landing page after they click the ad and the landing page they land on, is that relevant to that audience? So some things around audience targeting that you can check is you can look at the job titles uh, that have been viewing your ads and clicking your ads and making sure that you have the relevant job titles showing. You might have to add some exclusions there. You can look at the seniority level. So do you have a lot of people coming in that are lower level seniority that you can maybe exclude or maybe in some cases you wanna include that depending on your product and service. So there's a few different things you wanna look at around there and segment down your audience to make sure that the right people are seeing your ads and engaging with them. And then you wanna make sure that landing page is relevant to them. So that brings us into this next bullet here, creative and landing page relevance. Is your creative that the user clicks on, is it relevant to the landing page? So if you're saying an offer and saying something in a creative and then they click it and they're landing on a random you know, blog article, uh, there wanna be really much relevance there. So you wanna make sure that the landing page is relevant to the creative, it's uh, cohesive. So if you have an offer on the creative, they land, it's good for them to see that offer, any kind of additional information on the landing page, but that's gonna help with the engagement time and having users more engaged and um, interacting with your, your site. Another thing to look at is the landing page experience on mobile and desktop devices. So you can see the traffic um, you know, coming through the mobile app and how much traffic is coming through the mobile app on LinkedIn. And you wanna make sure that when users land on your page and they're viewing it from a mobile device, you can go on your phone and look at your landing page. How does it look? Does it look good? Um, sometimes there's some discrepancies from how something looks on desktop and then when you have it on narrow. Um, on mobile, it can uh, maybe there's something off and that's causing people to bounce quicker or not. Maybe the navigation on mobile is not that easy, so they're not 
um, looking around your site or the, you know, the information hierarchy and the user experience is not good. So if a user clicks on, is on your mobile site and they don't know how to navigate or it's just a confusing user experience that can really impact things and users are going to bounce off. So for this particular client, the low average engagement time per session that we're seeing, what I'm going to do is test, A-B test, sending traffic. It's going to kind of be a pre and post test. So I'm going to switch over the traffic that's going to the home page and I'm going to push them to a services page. And that services page does look better on the mobile device. It has a better navigation and I think it will be more relevant for our audience. So I'm going to test that and see after the change, how does the average engagement time per session um, improve or it decrease? The hypothesis is that it's going to improve because users are going to have a better navigational experience and the services page speaks to all the different categories they serve better. So I think that's going to be a better place for them to land than the home page. So what you can do is you can, you know, do A-B testing on your audiences, A-B testing on your creatives and your landing page, and then review your average engagement time per session in Google, Google Analytics. And along with, you know, watching all the other metrics that you're gonna be monitoring. So I have a, a reporting dashboard that I'll put here. So you wanna be looking at your, you know, your ads click, the impressions clicks, click through rates, conversion rates, if you have video ads going, you know, how much of the video they're watching. So you want to look at all those other metrics along with some of the metrics that you can see within Google Analytics. So yeah, if you have any questions on that, please put them in the comment section. And thanks for watching and have a great day.